Hello and welcome back to another update episode. Today we're going to be taking a look around the greenhouse as well as the polytunnel and I'm going to show you some of the seeds that I've been starting for my vegetables this year. So join me right after this. Let's start off inside the greenhouse. So the plants on the whole are looking pretty good. There are a couple that are showing signs of a bit of sunburn. We can see over here, the leaves gone all crispy, but again, not too worried about it. You know, if you are seeing new growth like this, then you know that your plant is just fine. So this plant is doing okay. Um, we can see also, obviously there's quite a long stem there and you don't really want to see that. You want to see this all nice and bushy down here, but we can see there's a lot of new growth down the bottom and all creeping up over here as well. And we can see even some new growth coming up there. So this here is my pepper dew and he's doing okay. He will bush out quite nicely as the season goes on. The weather started to turn now in the UK and we're seeing much better weather, much better temperatures. It's been still quite cold at night, but at least during the day it warms things up nicely. So here we can see as well, this plant is doing really well. Lots of new growth and down there as well. So we took a quick look through here. There's a few that I'll point out. Uh, also want to point out, I have got a tomato in here at the moment. He won't be in here too long. Um, I want to make my homemade chili ketchup again. I'll leave a link up top there. You can see my recipe for it, but I'm going to be using tomatoes I've grown myself this year. I've got two plants, one over there and one over there, but these will leave the greenhouse pretty soon because I'm sure if you've watched some of my other videos, you'll know that I'm not a fan of having tomatoes mixed in with my peppers. Tomatoes seem to bring a lot of pests into my greenhouse, so I made the mistake in the past and uh, yeah, he won't be staying here very long. There's some beautiful leaves on here. Um, I have got rid of the aphids that were infesting my plants and we can see here again another one, a bit of sunburn on the leaf, but with all this new growth, there's really nothing to worry about. There's some plant over there. You can see there's a bit of damage still from what the aphids are doing, sucking out the sap of these leaves, but you'll recover just fine. And uh, it's quite an interesting one. This is my poblano, uh, this is my competition plant. So remember, make a comment down below if uh, you want to be included in the competition at the end of the year. But uh, this is the poblano plant and we can see it's quite interesting the the leaves are desperate for sunshine. So what happens in the morning, I don't get a lot of sunshine in the greenhouse very early on. So the leaves end up curling over on themselves. They, they, they come forward and end up flopping forward like this. It's only on the poblano that I've seen this. I haven't seen it on my other plants, but um, by the end of the day, this plant, this leaf is all the way back again. So I'll just leave that as it is. But yeah, when I come back tonight, this plant will be healthy again. We can see some peppers growing. This is my sweet banana. And <laughs> yeah, he just decided he's going to throw out a pepper early. And it'll be ripe probably in the next two weeks or so. And again, lots of new growth on these plants here. This is the lemon drop. Quite keen to see how this one's going to produce this year. Never grown a lemon drop before and everybody raves about how awesome they taste. So looking forward to that. And here's my chocolate bell. I don't know why, but I expected this to be more round, the pepper itself. Uh, we have one there. We also have another one back here, but bigger. A couple back there. And you can notice that uh, I'm not exactly cutting flowers or peppers off. I know a lot of people recommend doing that so that it increases the growth of the plant, but uh, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to let them do their thing. It's the same as I do every year. I don't go around nipping all the flowers. If you only have a few plants, then, you know, go ahead, do that. But I don't only have a few plants. I have a hundred plants that I have to look after. So these are all looking really healthy. This section over here is for my Peri Peri and my Cayenne. And they're doing well. Lovely growth. I love it when it splits into a Y like that. It just 
creates a nice bushy plant. So I'm sure these will do quite well. What I've noticed is these went pretty dormant for the last month or so because the soil was quite cool. Um, the soil, I think, has more of an impact on the growth of these plants than sunlight or anything like that. And it's something I've noticed as well with my hydroponics. So what I'll point out here is this one here, which is my homemade system. Well, actually, this is all homemade, but <laughs> The video that I did about my mini hydroponic system, we can see that this here is growing pretty rapidly. I mean, this thing's doubled in growth since I've put it in here, and it's growing quicker than the ones that are down here. My theory for that is the reservoir here is a lot smaller, so this heats up a lot quicker than that massive reservoir that I have down the bottom there, which is 100 liters. So that there is seven liters. During the day, that's gonna heat up quite quickly down here it's going to take a while that's still quite cold i think at the moment it's about 14 degrees celsius even though inside the greenhouse it is about 35 degrees celsius so until that water starts warming up to around about 20 uh, or even higher then this growth is going to be somewhat measured we can see for instance this over here it's healthy it's growing but i expected this to be a lot further along than it is at the moment and i think that's purely down to the temperatures of the water so the roots like to be warm I think it's a trifecta right it's the light it's the uh, the warmth and also obviously the nutrients but the warmth is a big one that's the one we battle with in this country and something we've been battling with the last month or so so these are the rest of my plants uh, there's quite a few peppers coming up on the plants and uh, they're all doing pretty healthy. There's a couple that are looking a little bit worse for wear because I think they got really ravaged by the, the bugs, you know, the aphids and I think whitefly at, at one point as well. But I am still confident they will recover just fine. Yeah, this is looking lovely. Look at this thing. This is my Tabasco and uh, so much new growth coming up at the top here. He wasn't looking very healthy about a month ago, but so much new growth, this will be a lovely bushy plant. So that's it for the greenhouse. Let's take a look inside the polytunnel. We can see I leave the doors open a little bit here. We can see at the back there as well, just allow some air in here. I saw 50 degrees Celsius in here a few days ago, um, which is not good for the plants, but I was a little short-sighted when I built this thing. I didn't build in any ventilation so we can see it's all just enclosed what i may do at some point i've been discussing this with the guys on my discord channel is put a runner at the top there and a small stepper motor or maybe on the the back door uh, put a stepper motor there and be able to open this when the temperatures get above a certain level just so that i can keep this closed at night and maintain the temperatures at night but yeah it gets damn hot in here i am sweating already <laughs> It's, uh, it's about 36, 38 degrees in here at the moment, Celsius. But let's take a look at the plants. So there's more evidence of what I was saying before with the way these plants really want a warm soil bed. They, their roots like to be warm, at least 20 degrees or above. There hasn't been a load of growth. I expect it to start improving now with the weather improving, but they're, they're ticking over. They've been somewhat healthy. I'm not too worried about them but I expected them to be a lot bigger this time last year these plants will probably be twice the size but we've had an unusually cold May and uh, I think it's really affected the plants ability to grow but they are ready to explode in growth I'm sure as soon as we we get those average temperatures up and we can see it's quite a small one over there he's still he's still okay but he needs to be a lot bigger so let's have a quick look through the plants. Um, not a lot to see in here, really. Uh, I'll show you my Bangalore Whippet's tail. He's been growing quite nicely. The ones in the greenhouse as well have been growing very well. And you can see we'll have a few ripe ones there soon. Yeah, this would be nice to see this in uh, a far bigger plant. Uh, to see lots of the, the Whippet's tails coming off and ripening up. Those plants are the ones that these uh, the back six. So those three and these three, 
those are the ones I planted probably two weeks earlier than the rest of these plants. Uh, I was just testing the environment just to see how they would do in a much colder temperature and you can see they are battling a bit uh, but there is new growth so again not too worried about it. You can see the new growth coming through uh, but yeah again these probably came out a little bit too early but it was an experiment I just wanted to see how they would do and at least I know <laughs> don't do them so early next year. That one back there is my overwintered plant and it's recovered really well lots of new flowers on it but it'll be interesting to see how that grows through the season as the uh, as the soil heats up over here we have some more chocolate uh, bell peppers you can see these guys here growing a little bit behind the ones that are in the greenhouse but they're still doing well but these here are my Romero yellows. And <laughs> look at the size of these. It's already that size. I mean, it's almost the size of the plant. There's two of them on there. Uh, I don't want to fiddle with that one too much. It's growing into the soil. But uh, yeah, there's two that are decent sized. There's another Romero over here. I think this might be a red. Yeah, this is a Romero red. And again, large pepper. Probably weighs more than the plant does. And the rest are looking okay. Again, this corner here is for my KN and my Peri Peri. And I'm just again waiting for the soil to heat up. So that's an update, just a quick one inside the polytunnel and the greenhouse. Let's go have a look at what else I'm doing in terms of vegetables. So here we can see I'm putting the uh, small greenhouse to use. Planted a whole bunch of vegetables. I had my wife give me a hand with this. She very kindly helped me out one afternoon in a weekend. And we can see a lot of them are coming up. I've already taken a few out of here. There were a few rows of pak choy. I'll show you where I've put those in a second. We've got some sweet corn back there. We've got some aubergine. Um, we've got a few more pak choy. And I think we have some lettuces. And yeah, there's a couple other things, some peas, beans. So those will go out as soon as they're nice and big enough. They'll go into the raised beds. Let's go have a look where I put the pak choy and we'll also have a look at the raised beds and see what I'm going to do with those. This is one of the raised beds. We have a whole bunch of these pak choy that I've planted out. We're going to have way too many. I think I've planted too many at once. Need to stagger them. <laughs> Plant a few seeds every couple of weeks. But at least my neighbors and my friends and family are going to have loads of pak choy to eat. So these will these will come up in the next couple of weeks. They'll be ready to eat. Um, I planted these so that we can attract some ladybugs. Uh, they're great for, for killing off the aphids and things like that. So we've got a, a few of them, marigolds, that are planted all up the front of the bed here. And uh, yeah, I read online that they're supposed to be really good for attracting ladybugs and other, other beneficial bugs for your garden. So this long raised bed over here, which I think is five meters long, is going to be for me trying out the Three Sisters method of gardening. So essentially that's going to be using some sweet corn in rows and we're going to then have some beans or peas growing up the sweet corn. And in between all that we're going to have some squashes or pumpkins. So that will come in the next couple of weeks, I'm sure. But in the meantime, I've planted some excess pak choy over here as well. But by the time we get the other plants inside this raised bed, these pak choy will be ready and we'll be able to harvest it. Over here, these are my garlic. I don't know if you remember earlier in the season, I planted these, uh, maybe even the end of last season. I planted these giant garlic from the Isle of Wight and they're doing really well. Um, <laughs> I need to figure out when they're ready to be harvested. Uh, I'll have to read up on that, but they're doing really well. They're nice and healthy. And over here we have planted some radishes. Those are what have come up over there. Radishes come up really quickly. So those are all in these middle two rows over there. And then we have some snap peas. And we also have some beans that are going to be growing along the side over here. And this bed over here is going to be for our beetroot. So I've got three rows of beetroot, two on the outside, one in the middle. And I'm going to be using that for 
a sauce I'm going to be making later on in the year. I've already got that all planned out. Um, I'll also be pickling some of this. There's uh, some pickled beetroot that we get from our local supermarket, uh, Tesco's. It's a spicy beetroot and I love that stuff. It is so good. And I'm going to try and replicate that recipe as well. So we've got three rows of beetroot. I've never grown beetroot before, so we'll see how that goes, but I'm sure they will do quite well inside this bed. So we can see that things are ticking over nicely. Nothing really drastic happening in terms of growth just yet, but that's down to the weather. It's been a little chilly this May, uh, particularly more so than last May. And uh, we've, seen the, we've seen the result of that in how the plants are reacting. We'll see some growth happening, I think significant growth within the next few weeks. This weather has definitely improved and nighttime temperatures are set to go up more. Right now they're still around five or six degrees Celsius. But as soon as we start getting into the mid-teens, these plants are going to really take off. So keep an eye out for the next few update videos. You'll really notice a big difference in these plants. I hope that your season is going well. Let me know in the comments below uh, how you're progressing. Uh, I'm always interested to see what you guys are, are up to. So until the next episode, thank you for watching and bye-bye for now. Old man, old man, they're coming